So you're using Chronometer for the first time. How do you get the most out of the app? If you've watched some of my other nutrition app videos on this channel, you'll know that I love Chronometer. I was so impressed that I switched over from my fitness pal after over three consecutive years of use and I haven't looked back. I'm now at over 900 days and counting on Chronometer. That said, like any new app, there is a learning curve when you first start using it. If you've downloaded or you're about to download Chronometer, this video can be used as your go-to guide to set you up for tracking success right from the beginning. Keep in mind, I'm not here to sell you on Chronometer. I'm assuming you're here because you've already made up your mind about using the app. If you'd like more information about the pros and cons of the app and how it stacks up against other apps we reviewed, check out my detailed Chronometer review right here. Now that I've got that out of the way, if you're ready to start using Chronometer, I'm going to walk you through how to get started step by step and make the most out of the app from day one. So let's jump in. Once you open up Chronometer, you'll go through a setup process that's actually pretty intuitive. First, you're going to enter your intake form, your sex, your age, your height, and your weight. One thing I thought was really thoughtful about Chronometer, it includes additional options like pregnant or breastfeeding, which is great because those users have different calorie needs. There's also support for transgender individuals on how to select the most accurate options for their goals. That kind of inclusion gets a really big thumbs up from me. Next, you'll see your activity level. It provides super helpful descriptions so you're not left guessing what counts as moderate or light activity. And if you want even more control, there's a custom option to input a specific number of exercise calories. But I'd only recommend that if you're an experienced tracker or you're working with a coach. After that, you'll enter your weight goal and decide how fast you want to gain or lose. I really like that Chronometer didn't push anything extreme. For example, it suggested losing half a pound a week, which is slow and it's at a sustainable rate. If you try to set something faster, like two pounds a week, it's going to give you a warning based on your weight and health context. Then you'll see a weight goal overview where everything is summarized and you haven't even had to make an account yet. Only after setting up your goals do they ask you to create an account. That means you can actually explore and even note your target calories before committing to using Chronometer long term, which is super user friendly. You'll enter your name, your email, your password, then agree to the terms of privacy policy. After that, check your email, verify your address. Be sure to peek in your spam folder just in case. Once you've verified, you're all set. When you first log in, you're probably gonna see an ad for Chronometer Gold. No pressure, you can just hit that X, but you can also use a free version, which honestly has a ton of features. Now you're in your diary. At the top, you see a calorie target that matches what we set up earlier. Chronometer prompts you to log your first food, so you just tap that orange plus button, hit add food, and you search manually or scan a barcode. Barcode scanning is free, by the way, which isn't the case in some other apps, like my fitness pal. Chronometer will also ask you about your nutrition knowledge level to tailor how much info that you see. So if you're brand new, it's going to keep things really simple. If you're advanced, you can get into detailed micronutrient breakdowns. And once you select your food, say a banana, you're going to choose your serving size. The default might be one large banana, but if you have a food scale, you can change it to grams and enter the exact amount. Chronometer calls meals diary groups. The default groups are things like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and uncategorized. But here's where it gets fun. You can customize up to eight groups and name them whatever you like. Personally, I added supplements group and one for biometrics. You can do this by going to the more menu, then display and tapping into diary settings. Turn on the groups you want and label them however it makes sense for your day. Want pre-workout section? Go for it. Want a separate work snacks from evening meals? Totally doable. So let's say you want to adjust your calorie and macro targets. Just go to more, then targets and select macro and energy targets. By default, it gives you macro percentages like 25% protein, 45% carbs, 30% fat. But if you prefer fixed numbers like I do, switch to fixed and enter the grams you want. I up my protein to 140 grams per day and then adjust adjusted carbs and fats accordingly. So if you want to customize your micronutrients, say boost calcium or lower sodium, you can toggle custom on and input your own targets. Just remember, if you manually set your calorie target, it'll override Chronometer's weight goal feature. That's not a bad thing. It just means that you're doing your own thing now. Chronometer works with a bunch of wearables and health apps as well. So you can sync data from Apple Health, Fitbit, Garmin, you name it. Just go to the more menu and look for devices. Now, if you eat the same meals often, like I do, like the oatmeal that I have every single day, do yourself a favor, save them. You can create a meal or group common foods together, like my go-to oatmeal, banana, and protein shake breakfast, or create a recipe for something that you cook and eat over multiple days. You can enter the cooked weight and number of servings, and Chronometer will help you calculate each portion size, so there's no more guessing. If you want to speed things up even more, you can mark food, meals, and recipes as favorites. So just tap the three dots next to the item, then the star icon. Now they're saved for quick logging. Don't forget about biometrics. This is super important. You can log 
weight, blood pressure, sleep, even mood. Chronometer includes a ton of built-in options. And if you upgrade to gold, you can even create custom ones. So once you've logged everything, food, water, supplements, biometrics, you can hit complete day in the diary. This locks in your entries and shows up as a green check mark on your calendar. Great for building that consistency streak. Now let's talk about advanced tools. Exploding meals is a feature that I love. If you log a saved meal, but you want to adjust just one thing, like the weight of your banana, you can swipe and tap explode. It breaks the meal into individual foods right in your diary so you can make those changes without editing the whole meal. Same thing goes for recipes. You can explode to adjust a one-time portion or use the adjust recipe to change just that day's serving. So if you realize you're forgetting an ingredient like oil, you can update the recipe and Chronometer will even ask if you want to apply that change to past entries. Smart, right? Gold users also get macro schedulers, which create templates for training days versus rest days and auto schedule them. Free users can still use templates. You just have to switch it manually. Gold unlocks custom charts. So if you're like me and you want to track, say, fiber intake versus digestion, you can totally do that. Yes, Chronometer can even track your poop. So you're welcome. You can store progress photos with the snapshots feature to see body changes that the scale might miss. And if you want to share your data with a coach or a friend, you can do that too, even on the free plan. Just go into the sharing menu. And that's your ultimate beginner's guide to Chronometer. It's not just another food tracker. It's a really powerful tool that helps you get specific with your nutrition without getting overwhelmed. So once you get in the habit, it becomes second nature. And with all the features, even on the free plan, it can make huge difference in reaching your goals. So if after all of this, you're thinking about getting Chronometer Gold, check out my full Chronometer review or my video on whether Chronometer Gold is worth the upgrade. Thanks for watching and happy tracking.